uh, restart business object servers. We're going to copy this code <coughs> and um, take it to our business object server and simply create a text file, paste it there, name it appropriately, save it as extension dot bat instead of our usual extension of, of dot txt so that is uh, that's it it's a batch of batch file now and we are going to try to um, edit it so that it fits this environment because this code here was taken from our production so this is our uh, development environment and it has uh, far less uh, business subject servers for example um, we don't have we only have one crystal reports job server and we only have uh, two web intelligence report server as opposed to four here so we're just going to simply go over and delete them um, from the stop and the start, start segments <clears throat> we are also going to go to the service menu a service option to figure out what what are the dependent services of the IIS admin and this is very important because you just don't want to restart one of the services like the worldwide web services by itself you want to make sure that you uh, restart all the dependent services uh, because business objects uses um, SMTP uh, and worldwide web services and uh, your other applications may be using FTP so although uh, if you just simply start and stop uh, IIS admin it should restart all of its dependencies but just to make sure that all the dependencies are um, uh, restarted appropriately we're going to explicitly use them again I'm going to do some modifications to match up with my uh, central configuration manager here <coughs> and you can do the same thing to add or delete um, servers again it's net start and net stop a double quote the name of the server so we'll go to the command prompt paste that code just to test it and as you can see uh, it's automatically starting on actually it's going to the stop phase we're going to, I'm going to try to align it um, with the batch file I'm going to try to align the batch file with this uh, command or this batch job that's running currently so you could see uh, side by side just so stopping, stopping, stopping okay, it's aligning further it's in destination job server and then list of values and then input and it's going in this order and I just simply pasted it uh, just to test it out and this is going to have to be obviously uh, scheduled but I'm going to come back to that um, see it says sleep.dxc is not recognized because uh, as I mentioned in the uh, tutorial um, uh, in, the, in the blog that uh, this is a piece of software program part of Windows uh, 2003 resource kit if you don't have that, you'll have to simply remove that. I uh, will ask your admin, uh, systems analyst to download it. If not, you'll just have to delete that. And I'll show you later um, how to run it without that. Without that sleep.exe, just simply uh, uh, it just waits, delays the uh, next command. And starting up. After starting up phase uh, again we're stopping all the other servers and then we're stopping central manage, um, management server the CMS and then we're starting off with CMS and it just uh, logically kind of makes sense because every server communicates with uh, CMS <clears throat> so it only makes sense to kill it at the last um, kill it last and start first and then so on and so for then it's going to go through the IIS so we're kind of doing it redundantly but uh, we're, um, we have peace of mind that we're explicitly um, stopping and starting all the dependent servers of uh, IIS admin 
And we have some uh, the location of the batch uh, job, and obviously we don't have that here. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to that location and simply create a log file. Um, if we don't create it, I think uh, once you schedule it, uh, this uh, batch job will automatically create one. But you know, try it out. I haven't tried it. And just make sure the extension is dot log. So we're going to now um, <clears throat> run the schedule task manager to schedule this batch job. Simply <coughs> excuse me, add a schedule task. Next, browse. We're going to select uh, the batch job and run it. I made a mistake. Uh, see if you can catch it. We'll just go to the next step. Um, go to the command to see the time. Just add, uh, you know, schedule it the next minute type in your credentials hit next finish and you see that pop that uh, schedule task pops up and let's just wait to, for the next minute and uh, it should start the batch job should start so this is what happened I selected the text version of it instead of the batch version of it we'll simply go to browse <coughs> and uh, select the correct file this time and open it apply type in your username or password again click ok and uh, schedule it for the next minute just to test it out or however you want click ok wait for it and the batch should automatically start so we have about five seconds and let's wait And there it is. The best job is running. We're gonna skip ahead and uh, see the end result. See all the servers are stopped, red, and um, sleep.exe is still not recognized. We're gonna have to uh, remove that from our batch file. And we go to the log file and we see the success message has been generated. Here's a preview of our production um, log file. So we're back to our um, development environment. We're going to edit this batch file and uh, remove the uh, sleep.exe. We'll remove that, that leave the net start of uh, CMS multiple times in case it uh, fails to start. Save this, give it a different name, and uh, reschedule that. Simple select our file, go to the next minute, schedule it, wait for it, and we'll just uh, let it run and then let's see how we do um, uh, recurring scheduling go to the properties schedule advanced and uh, let's uh, make a daily schedule from January 1st 2010 to um, January 2012 or something you know, whatever you want change the time to a um, appropriate time and find out from your um, IT managers and it's a good time, let's say 12 30 at night or something. And that's it. We will have the recurring and we have the description of it. And that's it. This is a very, very useful batch job to keep your business subjects environment error free and uh, responsive.